What's popping? YouTube, another day, another vlog. We're in central London, outside High Road. Gonna go in there and check out some fragrances. I've got loads on my list since the last time I come out. I think I've got like 10 or 15 fragrances on my notes to check out. Jesus Christ, brother. There's little sugar come out of my pocket from <laughs> Starbucks. Been to Starbucks, got an absolute feast. I've got a pumpkin spice latte, a hot one. I've got a cookie, I've got a croissant, and I've got a cheese toasty. I am starving today, but now I'm ready to check out some fragrances, man. So it should be a good day. Let's go. And I always forget to do this, but the scent of the day is BDK's Grisha I know it's straight, I love it. It's kind of cold out today. It looks like it might rain, so perfect fragrance. Fit of the day, we got the Navy Dunks on, some River Island jeans, and we got a little knitted jumper from Zara. But yeah, man, the fragrances I'm gonna check out today, I'll let you guys know. Got them on the list. I've got like 20 there. Got Creed of Venice Absolute, Silky Woods Elixir, got Mancera's Amore Cafe, the new Golan fragrances, and then we got a couple others, but I'll save that for the video, man. But let's check it out now, man. Come. I'm at Hermes now and someone literally DM'd me and said that Ambre Nagel from Hermes is just like Killian's Angel Share so I have to check it out. It is this fragrance right here. Let's see if it's like Angel Share. There it is. Let's see. See how it dries. It's similar. It is similar. But this smells to me similar to like a Tonka Cola. It's more fizzy. It's sweet. It actually smells closer to Sharaf Blend from Zamaya, you know. It's nice though. It's not better than Angel Share. No way. Don't even try that. <laughs> Alright people, so I've got a little sample here. Not a sample, but it's on a test strip. Creed of Venice Absolute and I've got it on skin. I'm smelling it. It smells nice. It doesn't smell too different from the original. But it does smell good, I can't lie. Everyone is going to like this fragrance. But the price though, 320 for 75 ml is a little bit steep. It's got like a nice citrus to the original, but it's got like a gingery kick. What I would say is get ingenious ginger instead from Goldfield and Banks. Trust me, that one's better. Our outside Salon de Par Farms. I'm going over to the Guerlain Boutique to check out the new Lezik Straits. I think there's three or four new ones. Should be sick, I'm excited. There's a vanilla one. So come man, let's go. Yeah. That's really nice. Still for me, because I like that sweeter fragrance. Yeah. That that Tonka one is absolutely beautiful. This one is the bag and what? Oh my god. Because we just tried the Creed of Venice Absolute. Okay. The, I tried it last time, yeah. This is this is nice. Juicy, citrusy. Oh, this one's actually so good. This is the bag and what from Calabria. The region southern part of Italy. Wow. One of the best. Thank you. They're so strong. They're so strong. As I said, it's 30%. 30% concentration? Yes. Wow. This one is the Rose Santifolia from Grass. So in Galan, we use this Rose Santifolia, but also the Bulgarian Rose. It's more sparkling, fresh. Oh, that's amazing. Because I've tried rose oils from, um, what well, is it, Lilaneur? The, mm, yeah. And this smells just exactly like exactly. it. And that was pure, pure rose oil. Yeah. So this one is extra one, the golden number one. Why? Because yeah. when we uh, do the harvest for the rose, we need to, to extract yeah. everything in one day. How come? Otherwise, it looks like the sense of the rose. Wow. Like, so it's a we quick. We can still use it. Yeah, but it's not going to be it's as potent what we and. Are for. Yeah. Yes. So it takes one day. For me, for I'm, I love vanilla, so I thought the the vanilla one would be my favorite, but it's actually the bergamot one. So yeah, the bergamot. Oh, that is so good. I would say my top three: bergamot number one, tonka number two, okay. then the vanilla one number three. It's beautiful. Yes. I want to try two layered together. Yes. Can I try the? The Oud Nude yeah, sure. with the Tonka Serapia. Do you want to try it here maybe? Oh yeah, maybe yeah we'll do it. The, the red red oh. And then with the vanilla one. Yes, uh, the Tonka one. The or tonka. what one do you recommend? Which one would be best? You can add the Tonka Yeah, Tonka one. one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That is beautiful. I don't even want to put my sleeve over it. I want to leave it like that today. Yeah, leave it like this. Just to dry it. This is a bit of an animalic oud yeah, in there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, you know this would be very powerful. This will last all yeah, day yeah, for sure, yeah. So the concentration of the oud of Alkalashin is quite high percentage-wise, 35 to 40 percent. So I had the feedback from Middle Eastern and from Nigerian clients that lasted on the clothes for over a week. <laughs> wow. So this is also the oud. Thank you. And this one's called it's gold. Dubai Gold. Dubai Gold. So this is bitter orange, so slightly on a sweeter side of it, so has got oud. But the oud is much more toned down in this one. It is, yeah. This is like a much more smoother, a little bit sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is my favourite one so far. The last one? Yeah, the last one, yeah. Try it on, would like to try it on. Yes, side. please, I'll try it on my, my hand now, I've sprayed my arm already. Thank you. That's 10 out of 10. That's beautiful. How many do you want, sir? <laughs> yeah. That is beautiful. I really like that. Just nearly finished this. So someone told me to try this fragrance from what's it called? The Harmonist again. I forgot the name. Trying so many fragrances. It's called Moon Glory. Good recommendation, probably the best one that I've tried from the Harmony so far. Fragrance is exclusive to Harrods, it's from Bodacia the Victorious, and it's actually got Harrods on the front of the bottle. Can you see that there? Yeah. That is absolutely sick. It smells incredible as well. Might get run down by the cars right now. But yeah, what happened? We just come out of Harrods. Went into the Girl Arm Boutique on Salon de Par Farms, checked out the new fragrances. Oh, hey, I can't lie, some of them are fire. I think my top three was the Bergamot one, the Vanilla one, and the Tonka Bean one. That was sick. Um, and then after that, we went over to Bond number nine. I've actually never been in there to sit down and check out the fragrances properly, but they was actually sick. And then, what else did we go to? Went to the end to check out the Harmonist fragrances. Yeah. But yeah, but... It was good, and now we're going over to another store, Lessie and Terz, I think it's called, to check out a new one from Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. Um, so yeah, man, I'll catch you when we get there, let's go. All right, so it's a little bit of a bop. So me and my boy just chatting about content, the creation process, all of that stuff. And we was actually talking about burnout, and he asked me, have I ever felt burnout? And since I've started, literally, I haven't even said, but tomorrow on the 31st of October, it's gonna be one year of me creating content, which is insane. Um, and have I felt burnout yet? I can't say I have. I felt like I was close a couple of weeks ago because when I started the YouTube, I didn't know what I was doing. So I had to make a YouTube video. On top of that, I had to edit a podcast. On top of that, stay consistent on TikTok. So I felt like I was getting there, but no, it's cool. When I receive messages from people who follow me saying like the content that I'm making is making a difference to their lives and they found their newfound passion, then I love it, man. And it makes everything worthwhile. So. Yeah, but that's a quick little chat. What are we calling that? TJ talks on the roads, cuz. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> TJ talks on the roads, but yeah. I think this brand here, um, Atelier Materi, is a proper underrated brand. Look at the bottles on that. The top looks like it's stone. This is called Cacao Porcelina. I'm expecting a nice gourmand chocolatey scent. Yes, yes. It literally smells like a smooth, dark chocolate. I don't know what's better, this or Montau's Chocolate Greedy. I think this takes it. 
So this one I just tried again from X Edilo. It's called Love and Crime. I literally sprayed five sprays on there. If you like a porn star martini, for me, this is what it smells like. It's smooth, it's got that kind of citrus at the top, like a passion fruit kind of vibe. Vanilla in the dry down as well. All right, this is a scent. I think this is my next pickup. Crazy. Woman J, new release. Smells good. Still my favorite from them is Alexandria, I would say. Bottle's nice, man. Look at that. Sick. A little bit musky, this one. Decent. And then Bond Street Leather, I've heard a lot about. Seen everyone on Instagram talking about this one. Let's see. Atomizer is so nice. Proper leather fragrance, that. This reminds me of, you know them, not that I've been in one, you know them old cars with the mahogany steering wheels? Mm. That brown steering wheel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this smells like. Dark, earthy, strong. This is, this is a powerful one here. Yeah. yeah, you see that? And then look at the back. Got the nice little picture of Bond Street there as well. That's wicked. My Alessia and Tells, I hope that's how you say it. And in there, what's wicked? is you can get samples. So I picked up a couple samples, Exodilo 33, Exodilo Love and Crime, and Atelier Materi, the cacao porcelain. It was a beautiful chocolate fragrance. Mind out, don't bump into the lady. But yeah, so these fragrances are two ml samples. I got three of them, it cost me like 12 pound. And if you keep the receipt next time when you come, if you buy a full bottle, you can get 10 pound off of that. So it works out. So I'm gonna test these fragrances over the next couple of weeks. And then I'm definitely gonna be back to buy one of them Exodilo fragrances. They are fire. Yes, people, so now we're getting into Liberty because when I was on Demi Rollins Live the other day, she told me about a vanilla fragrance from the Architect Club. I think it's called Arquiste. You guys know I love vanilla, so I've got to check it out. Let's see what it's saying, boy. All right, so I've just found this fragrance recommended by Demi Rollins. It's called the Architects Club and it's by Arquiste. Let's see what it's saying. She said it was lovely. Oh, look at that, Amazon. Well. Oh, the lid doesn't clip down, though. Let's see. Oh, she wasn't lying. Nice vanilla fragrance. Slightly woody, smooth, maybe sandalwood in the base. It's got like a little kick to it, but it's warm as well, so maybe amber, cashmere, and... Yeah, I'll give that a nine out of 10. So that's the end of the day now. I checked out a few fragrances, checked out some banging fragrances today. Some new releases are not in store yet, so when they do come, I'll try them out. But yeah, man, if you haven't seen my last video, I hope you can hear me. If you haven't seen my last video of the Harrods Beauty Carnival vlog, make sure to check that out. That was sick. Super grateful for that. And yeah, man, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Love for the love, my people.